You buy a book from origamishop.com. You buy a paper from origamishop.com. You look in the book to see what model you want to fold. Then, guess what? You fold it. You're done. Congratulations. Okay, maybe that was a little bit too fast. Let me explain that in much more detail and a lot slower. Okay, so begin by finding an origami book that you like. You can order these books from on origamishop.com or any other website that you may find. By the way, there's a link in the description. Each one of these books have many different and unique folds made by other people which have diagrams for them as well. These diagrams can provide you with all the information that you need to fold your favorite model out of the book. However, if you don't have enough time or money to use the book, then there's a different option. The second option is using this image. This image marks all the creases needed to make an origami turtle. This is called a crease pattern. Crease patterns can differ from any origami model that you're trying to fold. Crease patterns are used when you don't have diagrams for an origami model. You might think this is easy, but you are very wrong. You may find this almost twice as hard as using a diagram in a book. That's because you need to figure out how to make those creases yourself. That's why I personally don't like using a crease pattern, and I recommend using a diagram instead. Watching a YouTube video on a tutorial.